Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own views of the 3D world and save them with a layout. To get started, remember that every layout has a default view of the 3D world, which is the view of the 3D world saved with the layout. So I have a layout open right here, and if I was to rotate the camera over here and then clear the 3D world by pressing the Control plus N key, now click the File tab and open that same layout. You can see that when the layout is loaded in the 3D world, I have that default view again. Let's now create our own views for this layout. So go to the 3D world toolbar, click the view editor arrow here, and it's good practice to save the default view you want for the layout. So I will click the plus sign here to add the view. There we go. I'll now rename it to be my default view because if I was to rotate the camera like so and save this layout, this would be the new default view of the layout. So if I actually click the Save button here in the Quick Access Toolbar, and I'll now clear the layout, go back to the File tab, and open that same layout, you can see the default view for this layout has changed, but I can still go to my View Editor and go back to that default view. And if I want to save this as the default view for the layout, just save the layout again. And I will do that here. Let's now create some more views for this layout. So I will click the view editor. And this time I'm going to pin it. So this allows me to see the view editor display panel here. I can still rotate the camera and it goes away. But when I stop interacting with the 3D World camera, you can see the view editor is visible once again. So let's actually create a top view for the process machine here. So when the part is being processed in the machine, we can quickly go to this view. So let's add another view. And I'll go ahead and rename this to be the top of the machine. There we go. Now, if you don't like this view, you can change it just a bit. Go back to the view editor and click this button here to update the view. So I click the update button. You can see the view has changed here, it's thumbnail. And if I navigate away, I can go back to the view editor and go back to that custom view or the default view. There we go. Now if you want to delete a view, I'll go ahead and create one real quick for you. Zoom in here. And let's say after editing the layout and maybe recording the simulation as a video, you know, I really don't like this view here, so I will click this button to delete it. So we now want to save this layout with our default view and the top view of the machine. So just go to the quick access toolbar here and use the save button. So I now save the layout. And if I was to clear the 3D world, and then go back to the File tab, and open that same layout, you might be saying, oh no, where are my views? Just go back to the View Editor, and here they are. Let's now see how this works in a larger layout. So I'm going to unpin the View Editor, clear the 3D world, go to the eCatalog panel under Models by Type, I'll expand that, and go to Demo Layouts. And let's add the lab layout so you can find it here. So I'll just drag it into the 3D world. And this is a rather large layout, so we have a bunch of different machines. So let's actually create a view for a couple of those machines. So with this layout, let's get a view here. Click the view editor and add the view. Let's now get this machine over here, a view of it. And let's add that as another view. There we go. So now, if I was to zoom out and go somewhere else in the layout, say all the way over here, and while I run this simulation, I may want to go back here. I can go to the view editor and just select a view like so. And there's the other view. All right, this concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.